Okay, folks, since we've been selling these pans, the most common question is, one, how do you get this gunky stuff out, which I don't blame you. It's put on there to keep the uh, pans from rusting in storage. And the other one is how to get these labels out. Well, we've come up with a quick solution to get the labels out. Cleaning the pan is simple. You just need hot water. But we'll start with that, and I'll show you how to get this label out a new way. grease and a little bit of soap and that oil comes right out. It's just a natural um, nut oil of what type I'm not sure. You want to get it out of there. Clean the pan thoroughly. Handle too. Alright, that's good enough for our demonstration. Then you dry your pan off again. Now what we used to tell you at this point was to soak the pan until the label started to lift, but it would leave the glue behind. If you watch our other video, you'll see that we sat there and, and fought that label. Um, this new trick, you're going to love it because it's quick and easy. Grab a teaspoon and you come on over here to the stove. Turn your stove top on high. Put your pan down there, flat, just like that. Remember, you got to get the grease off first that they come covered in. Count to about five or six. Don't let the label blister. And see if you can pick at the edge a little bit. Nope, not yet. Put it back on there for another five or six. You can see the uh, edges of the label are wet from us washing it just now. As they start to dry, you'll know that's about the time you want to take it back off the heat. That again. Nope, not yet. Just keep doing this. You don't want to overheat it. It's better you keep trying. You don't want to do this with your fingernail either because that pan is getting hot. Alright, once you get it started, just like that. And there you go. Label. And glue off in one piece. I just take this back in, scrub it again, and you're good to go. Steel wool and a little elbow grease. Now you want to give it a good thorough cleaning, make sure you get all the residue off from the factory oils. And no, I don't normally wash things on the counter. But I figured this is better than making you look in our sink. And there you go. Label's off. Um, that certainly beats the old-fashioned way that we were doing it before. And now if you'll watch our other video, you'll see exactly how to season the pan. Thank you much.